Hello and thank you for joining us today. We are of course talking about Bible prophecy and how a literal reading of the Bible will tell you that we are in the last days. So we're going to look at Deuteronomy 32, 32. The people of this day, of this generation, they have built a vine. They have become the branches in that vine and they have produced much fruit while in that vine. That vine is the electrical system, the electrical grid and the wireless system for their vine. It's a two-part vine for their vine, of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. The vine of Sodom is the physical wiring that has wrapped around the people. It has swallowed them up. They have attached themselves to it. They have become the branches in that vine, and they have produced much fruit in that vine. It is a two-part vine. The vine of Sodom is the physical electrical wiring, and that that produces the fields of Gomorrah there together for their vine of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. The fields of Gomorrah are the wireless signals, the electromagnetic, the electromagnetic waves that go through everything. That is what the writing on the wall is concerned with. It is concerned with pointing out and testifying against our works of the last days. This is what the writing on the wall says, and this, the writing that was written, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Upperson, this, the interpretation of the thing, Mene, God hath numbered thy kingdom and finished it, Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting, and we have seen in previous videos that the word numbered is numbered, shares the same strongs numbered with spoken, because God is speaking through his prophets the same word, the same Bible that we've had. It is active today. Is it a lot? Is it is alive? God hath numbered thy kingdom and finished it. This kingdom, thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. And wanting is numbered with flood. The word flood, the flood of Noah's day, the deluge. And that is what we see today. There is a flood upon the land. There is a flood upon the land. It is a flood of electromagnetic waves. And God's word testifies against that. The writing is on the wall. God, this kingdom has been numbered. So when we look at it, when we look at the electrical system and how it works, you see that the wires themselves produce the electromagnetic wave. As the current goes down the wire, as we see in this blue arrow, it produces an electromagnetic wave. The B, it spins around it, it, go, it rotates, it goes outward, it propagates at a certain interval or frequency based on the electrical current. The electrical current itself is what makes it. We see this is how an antenna works. You can see the positive and negative polarity switching causing the electromagnetic wave. And we see this again in this graphic. Same idea, positive and negative polarities flipping causing causing the electromagnetic wave to propagate. That is where we're at today. But their vine, of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah, that is the two-part system, the two-part vine. The vine of Sodom, the fields of Gomorrah. And that is what we see in the Bible. We see this in the writing on the wall as it testifies against it. So let's look at the word electricity. Electricity. That is what it testifies against. That is the power of the people of the last days. That is their enchantment. They have done in like manner with their enchantments. This is their enchantment. And the word of God, the writing on the wall, testifies against it. Electricity. The modern Hebrew word for electricity is chashmal. Chashmal occurs in the Bible. Chashmal occurs in the Bible. It is translated amber. It is H2830. And as I said, it is the modern day Hebrew word for electricity. Well, this kingdom is numbered. The writing is on the wall for Chashmal shares the same number with the word Clyden. Clyden is translated, it occurs twice, where it is translated raging and wave. That's right. The word that is numbered for the modern Hebrew word for electricity is numbered, connected to the word translated raging wave, Clyden. This kingdom is numbered and testifies against this, this last days. We are weighed in the balances and found wanting. How are we found wanting? Well, the flood. This kingdom is numbered and we just saw that the word wanting is numbered with the word flood. And that is what electricity brings us. That is what it causes. The flow of electricity itself propagates the wave. And you can see that as the word of God testifies of that and shows us this again as the writing is on the wall for our day. As electricity, the Hebrew word for electricity is numbered with raging wave, pointing out yet again 
pointing out yet again through the writing on the wall that, that Jesus Christ is coming, that his kingdom is coming, that he is returning very soon because the writing is on the wall. It testifies against all of the modern day stuff. It testifies against the vine that the people of the last days have built and they have become the branches in it. They have produced much fruit in it, but without their vine, they can do nothing. And we can see this in the Bible as a time and time again, word and word again, testifies against this flood, the deluge that is upon this land. The writing is on the wall and you can see it because Yeshua is coming. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and you can see all my other videos at yeshuaiscoming.com or signoffire.com. So until next time, God bless.